Oh, hello. How's it going? <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that was Very Ape by Nirvana from the Live and Loud rehearsals way back in 1993. Um, now, as the eagle-eyed of you can tell, I'm sure, I am not in my normal recording room. I thought I'll come somewhere a bit more peaceful and a bit more interesting just to get myself out the house, basically, and get away from all the concrete and the noise of, and all that crap back in town. Um, and this is somewhere that's pretty much on my doorstep as well, so I feel very lucky. But it's not somewhere that I visit often enough, so I thought I'd bring you guys with me for my outro. Aren't I nice? <laughs> So yeah, like I said, it's just nice to get out of town and not have to deal with all the traffic and the noise and all the annoying people and that. Um, so yeah, lovely bit of the South England countryside right here. Um, what's that? Spitfire, that's pretty cool. Um, yes, home and tea for once you deserve it. <laughs> Road box leader, break it off. Home and tea for once you deserve it. Well done, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'd recognize the sound of that engine anywhere because I'm a little bit of a plane geek on the quiet, but um, not as much as my dad. Uh, so, yeah, interestingly. Very Ape by Nirvana. Um, I filmed the rhythm parts to this song way back in like June when I had about two weeks off of work, something like that. And I thought I would use that time to get a few videos in the can just to make it less stressful for myself in the future. Um, so yeah, it's been a few months since I recorded that and I thought I'd finally get the lead part done, which I actually filmed this morning. Um, so yeah, it's about time I thought I would bring that together and make it into one big video. I have covered this song before, but um, like I said, this is the rehearsal version, so it's slightly different, it's a bit more up-tempo. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's virtually the same song. The reason that I'm going over a lot of the same songs is because I've still got my wrist injury. Um, my right hand is a lot worse than my left. Um, but my left hurts a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if it's tendonitis or something like that. Um, I've not like had a diagnosis from the doctor or anything, it's just something that I'm sort of dealing with at the moment. Which is why I've not been doing, you know, particularly difficult songs recently, just super like easy strummers, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from YouTube, maybe a few weeks or something like that, just to let it rest a bit and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not so much the playing the guitar, that does kind of aggravate it a little bit, but it's mostly the editing, like with the mouse and the keyboard and all that, and then work doesn't help as well because I have like a pretty sort of um, physical job, so yeah, I need to sort of take it easy there as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I'll get back to it as soon as I possibly can, but like I said, I have got a couple of videos still kind of in the can, which I recorded back in June, so I might have to use the mouse with my left hand instead of my right hand just to edit them or something, I don't know. Uh, but I'll keep you posted and I'll post as many videos as I possibly can while I'm still kind of like in rehab <laughs> uh, While my hand's still healing basically, uh, so yeah Okay, so with regard to the actual riffs themselves, um, the lead parts and the rhythm parts are virtually identical. Kurt Cobain was playing the rhythms and Pat Smear was playing the leads. Now, um, like I said, they pretty much just follow each other the whole way through, although I think halfway through the verses, Pat Smear goes up an octave with the lead playing. But um, yeah, when it gets back to the chorus again, it's basically just following what the rhythm's doing. So it's not a difficult song to play by any stretch of the imagination. And again, that is why I played it because it's super simple and I'm trying to sort of recover a little bit. Uh, I will be getting back to doing your requests as soon as possible, but like I said, I do need to sort of recover a little bit and heal. So um, yeah, I, hopefully it won't take too long. I would like to get into some doing some different sorts of songs at some point in the future, like maybe Black Sabbath or, uh, I don't know, Incubus or something like that. I don't know, maybe get into some other stuff that I used to listen to when I was a lot younger. Um, but yes, I probably will try and upload a couple of things while I'm sort of like taking a bit of a break. Uh, whether it's guitar related or not, I don't know, but we shall see. Uh, so yes, thank you for your patience and um, I will try and get back to it as soon as I possibly can.
Oh, blimey. <laughs> I need to take a bit of a breather. I'm literally about three miles away from the car, I think, so I've got a bit of a hike to get back to it, going up and down hills and all that. But um, I'll be all right, I'll just take a breather for a minute and it should be all good. Um, okay, so the last video that I did was Lounge Act by Nirvana. You know, the base cover that I did. I don't know why I'm using my fingers because Chris Novoselic used a pick, but whatever, right? Um, yes, the last video that I did was Lounge Act, the base cover. And I'm gonna be honest with you, while I was filming that video, I actually had tested positive for COVID. Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know if that came across in the video at all because I was feeling pretty rough. Uh, and if my playing was terrible, then I'm going to blame it on the old Rona. Um, luckily, I have had my jabs already, like both of my um, vaccinations for it. So it only really hit me sort of mildly, like it just felt like a bad cold kind of thing. Um, so, you know, I was all right. And um, I'm literally coming out of my little isolation time now. So I'll be going back to work um, end of this week, I think, which is cool. It'd be nice to get back to it. Um, much as I like sitting around at home watching old films and playing the guitar and... Uh, you know, trying to anyway, what with my wrist and all that. I keep mentioning the wrist, but it is legit, I promise you. <laughs> it's not an excuse. Um, I wouldn't spend 20 quid on a brace if um, it wasn't real, I guess. <laughs> so I'm literally trying to talk to the camera, but there's like people everywhere and it's uh, kind of embarrassing to be honest, but um, <laughs> hey ho, it's all good, right? <laughs> Life's too short to be self-conscious about these things. So yeah, in my previous video, I was off work with COVID. Um, but luckily, you know, it turned out all right. I don't feel too bad and everything. So I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. Um, anyway, I think I need to get back to the car, to be honest, because I'm not lost, but I'm definitely not 100% sure where I am. So um, <laughs> it kind of looks like I'm going into the Blair Witch Woods or something right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably just going to head back to the car now because I am super far... You know you asshole <laughs> what the f is that the f***ing lizard down there look can you see it well i don't want to hurt it i'll leave it alone but um yeah <laughs> yeah it's just nice to get away from the town and everything and sort of have a look at the countryside and all that cool stuff uh i'm on my way back to the car now so i'm heading back that way towards town um, but it's just nice up here, man. I mean, everybody says hello, everybody says good afternoon and all that kind of thing. Um, down on the street, if you see someone, they tend to sort of look away from you <laughs> or cross the street to get away from you. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Not that scary, surely. Um, but yeah, I don't know, up here it's just a different vibe, you know. Um, getting closer to nature and, you know, away from all the bull crap. Uh, yeah, just good vibes, man. <laughs> Uh, so yes, if you have enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, please feel free to hit like and subscribe and all those awesome things that you guys always do. Um, yes, thank you for coming on this little walk with me and uh, putting up with my random chit chat, I guess. Uh, yeah, man, I love doing these videos. It's awesome. Um, thank you for all the support and hopefully I shall see you guys in the next one. Cool. Peace.